we're, we got a two queen uh, package here. We're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna shake them in while I'm hiving. I'm gonna sit these bees, this box on top of this one here. I'm gonna put the queens, hang them in the top box here, which is gonna be the top box. And I'll uh, leave them in the cage. Hang them between a couple of frames here. Any workers in that one? Nope. Now sometimes they put a tenants in and sometimes they don't. Is well, I did that to those myself. Oh, you did? Because they were, uh, I had to pull them out of another package and they didn't have a place yet for a while. That was the last, last one there, yeah. But, uh, now are the queens marked? I know some of them are these marked. These are not marked. And these queens are from uh, Kurt Webster's stock that I had produced in California for package bees to Alaska. Got the queen cage, you know, the cage section facing that away so they, uh, so the bees can access the queen and take care of her for the day that they're going to be in here. I'm going to leave them in here overnight so that the bees from the bottom box, which are in the package, they'll come up and they'll, they'll meet the queen up here. Or both the queens, and then tomorrow I'll take a couple frames. I'll take three frames and put them in another box over there, and I'll split this here package up into two. My see-through inner cover. Put my strap on so the blow everything apart here. Any worry about moose or anything like that? Not moose. Bear. I don't even worry about bears. I haven't had a bear problem here. But anywhere I do have a bear problem, I'll just put an um, electric fence up for them. All right. That's pretty much hived up except for the, the, the five minutes I'm going to have with them tomorrow.